Welcome friends and fans to another episode of Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin and tonight I'm going to share with you a video uh, of banknotes depicting giraffes. Um, if you are a fan of mine and if you have become a subscriber you should have received this video automatically but if you haven't I hope you'll take a second and uh, click the like and subscribe button and feel free to leave any comments and questions you might have about giraffes on banknotes. I did some research on Wikipedia, Standard Catalog of World Paper Money, the bank notebook, and Numista to come up with information I have for you on these notes and as always anytime I do a video that has um, a specific note I will go into far more detail as to security features design colors and etc I do want to point out that when I do a theme video like this one on giraffes for example I would want to highlight more of the giraffes on the note than anything else but anyway here's what I found out about some giraffes I found out that they are the tallest living land animal and for me that was kind of a duh moment <laughs> but I did discover that they are the largest ruminant which is uh, animals that ferment plant-based foods in a specialized stomach. So think about cows, goats, sheep, and then think about their uh, ruminant family member, the giraffe. They are of one species in the modern world, Giraffa camelopardus, camel leopardardus, <laughs> leopardalis. I'm sorry, I can't even speak Latin. Giraffa camel leopardalis. And there are actually nine subspecies recognized. Although I did say, I did see that some say that there are nine extant species and they have been described as such. Although seven extinct species are known to have existed, their skulls with their horny knobs or bony knobs or ossicons may have inspired the dragons of legend because their skulls look ferocious indeed. There are only about 100,000 of these critters living in the wild. And the earliest origin of the name giraffe actually comes from the Arabic zarafa, which means, I believe, fast walker. I hope that some of my Arab fans and friends might correct me or my pronunciation of zarafa. The closest living relative is the okapi. And I did find at the very last minute that a 2021 study posits that there are four distinct species and seven subspecies. So uh, the giraffe is not a matter of set science. I did discover that their skin is tighter in their legs to help the blood flow, uh, maybe to keep it from flowing so low, and that uh, research into their skin helped astronauts and those behind astronauts figure up suits that would keep our astronauts from having the same problem with blood coursing to their legs while they were in space or, you know, in high-flying, high-atmosphere missions. I'm absolutely excited to share these banknotes with you. This first note I'm going to share with you is um, a 5,000 shilingi from Tanzania. And you can see over here on the right-hand side the splendid portrait of the giraffe. And it's almost breaking the fourth wall and giving you an eyeball, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Over here we have a zebra, which is going to be... You're going to see this note again in a zebra, <laughs> in a zebra episode. The uh, watermark, which you can't see as well here, is of a giraffe as well. And the giraffe is actually facing that way, where this one is facing that way. On the back of the note, there are no giraffes, so we'll just move on to the next note. My next note here is actually a Swaziland. And it is a two in Malangini, or as they would say in Swazi, Lama Bili Imalangeni. And I, I apologize in advance for any mispronunciation. I do happen to have an associate from Swaziland, but I did not get <laughs> I did not get him to run over any of these uh, prior to sharing the video. On the front we have a very young King Mswati, and um, we have the sigil of the nation with an elephant and a lion supporter. The zebra on this note is found on the back of the note. And while I'm changing back, think back to the beginning where I ask you to become a fan and subscribe to my page. Do you see it? Do you see the giraffe through all the beast on this on this bank note? We have zebra. We have hippos. We have some kind of bird here. We have some gorgeous cranes there. I mean, assume they're cranes. And lurking over all of them is a lone giraffe in the background. Not a big giraffe, but enough to get it included in this video. 
let's move on to my one of my most interesting giraffe banknotes. A banknote where the giraffe is not necessarily a real giraffe. This is actually, you would think it's actually a Republic of Malagasy or Malagasy or Republic Malagasy. However, you know, most people would call this um, a Madagascar. This is a 50 airy, airy, airy. And I am convinced I am not speaking this correctly. I barely can speak French, so I'm pretty sure I'm not speaking the version spoken on Madagascar. And the the um, giraffes are found on this side of the note. It looks like it's a fruit market under an umbrella. I need to make an umbrella video sometime. But over here, I'm assuming that these are giraffes that you see here in the background, mainly because there's some modified ossicons or horns on the top. There's the little mane they have going down the back of their necks. And there's the spots that you often see as well as the long neck that you would see of a giraffe. And there may or may not have been a giraffe negative to the um, Madagascar, but they certainly seem to appear in an artificial format on the back of this note. Pretty cool, huh? I thought it was amazing. We go from Madagascar to Kenya. And Kenya is represented with this five shilling gitano or five shilling note. I actually had somebody um, posit that I had mispronounced shilling, and it's entirely possible, but I, I try to use what's written on the note. And the reason a shillingi is used in Kenya is because it used to be in the realm of the British Empire. And so you have the shilling of the British Empire, um, still representative today in the denominations used in Kenya. Beautiful banknote, well designed. And nothing related to a zebra on the front, or it was a giraffe on the front. Let's go ahead and turn it over, and we have a wildlife scene. And if you um, are not looking uh, between the volcanic background and, you know, the... Oh, I guess those are some sort of Cape Buffalo in the foreground. You might miss the entire herd of giraffe here in the center. There's like one, two, three, four, five... And then a calf, so this must be one of the female herds with a calf. They kind of group together like elephants in that regard, females and calves. And then males are more solitary or they're grouped with other males. Um, beautiful note. I thought it was well done. And um, you see a similar design on this polymer banknote of Mozambique, which is 100 Metacash. And on the back of the note, you see a similar grouping of, of giraffe. They're going in the same direction as they were. In fact, maybe they ran over from that Kenya note, and they came over and stopped here on this Mozambique note for another picture. Um, it may just be that these two are closer to us than the one in the background, or it may be that this is a yearling, perhaps. But I would assume that this is another... Uh, female group. However, there are ossicons, and it's mostly males that have the ossicons, or at least the ones that are so upright and erect. So I couldn't really tell. I love zoology, but I am no genius at it. The next note I'm going to share with you is from the South Sudan, one of the world's newest countries, and it's a beautiful little one South Sudanese pound in green. Love the note. Very pretty. Uh, nicely done for a new country. And on the back, there's a splendid grouping of giraffe. And I could sit and look at these all day. One, two, three, four. Maybe that's the fifth head in the back. Five, six, at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I think about eight giraffes appear on this, although it would seem to me more balanced if there was an odd number of seven. So I could be wrong. Correct me if you need to. But here we have some beautiful giraffe on the back of a South Sudanese banknote. From South Sudan, we're going to travel to Tanzania. And Tanzania has a beautiful banknote that may have featured in one of my theme videos on lions. It's a splendid lion there on the front. But let's take a look at the back and see the giraffe, which would cause it to be included in this scene. And I'm at a loss because I don't see a giraffe vignette anywhere, except if you take a look in this um, ink that shifts colors when you shift the note and you see the head of a giraffe right there. I think the giraffe is the national animal of Tanzania. I may be wrong about that, but um, could very well be. 
you know, it was a beautiful Tanzania note that was the first draft note in the series, so that's entirely within the realm of reason. Let's move on from Tanzania to Zambia, and I have a lovely tin quacha for you to see. And the smiling visage of their former leaders on the face, and on the back of the note, we have a really nice image of a giraffe here in the bottom left-hand corner. Kind of pretty, isn't it? Next to the famous Chainbreaker statue. And the final note I'm going to share with you is um, kind of an emergency bank note. We're going to move over to Zimbabwe. And why on earth they had to have an emergency note when they are or were one of the wealthiest nations in Eastern Africa probably has everything to do with the fact that they were a Marxist nation and didn't know how to manage their funds for the benefit of the nation. But I don't want to get very political. That's just my basic opinion. Um, if you take a look at this note, the giraffe are in the bottom right-hand corner. And they're very tiny compared to the rest of the note. But they are well engraved. And they are pretty. I don't think there's any that um, exist on the back of this $5 billion agro, agro check. Oh, I'm sorry. I lied. They do. There they are again in like a flipped engraving here on the left side of the note and i have always loved these zimbabwe notes because i grew up in oklahoma and i was born in southwest kansas and seeing giant grain elevators of this nature and these silos is um is something i've grown up with and we always call these elevators where i grew up uh, just because they are so high up and because you can ride an elevator to get to the top of here beautiful note um very cheap for me to acquire. They may be more expensive now, but I wouldn't know. Um, a variety of nations. You can see that these were predominantly African nations. Um, and I would want to point out to you that these are not even all of the giraffe notes that are available for purchase. Please add to my list. Subscribe, comment, uh, cuss, discuss with me. The Splendid Giraffe on Banknotes of the World. I am Benjamin. This is Numismatic Notes. Have a jewel of a day.